All right. Building mental resilience. And I think this is probably where we go off the rails by not hitting our goals. Like, mm-hmm. I think this is one of the main culprits. Yeah. Is your brain. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you could just say, I'm going to go five days a week and turn my brain off and just do it. Mm-hmm. You'd be ahead of probably 90% of people. Pretty much. Um, I, I hear a lot about um, being sore or, you know, when you're probably not fueling properly, right. not drinking enough water, not recovering right. But even when you are, just show up and just do body weight. You know, just do something. Yeah, that's one of the it's one of the ones that yeah I can't do something, so mm-hmm. therefore I do nothing. I don't. Yeah, that's um, not a good mentality for you. Yeah, have a it's, goal. yeah. I, I'm not. I'm not busting on it. Yeah, I'm just saying like mm-hmm. you. You know, you really need to do something. You got to overcome that. That's yeah. that's one I hear, um, and I know it's easier said than done. But but mm-hmm. you have to start somewhere. Everybody starts somewhere. Mm-hmm. Um, yes. And a lot of people use, uh, stress as an excuse, yes. you know, for in, and here's how it can kind of go stressed at work, can't sleep, mm-hmm. didn't come in. Mm-hmm. Like that's probably the most common one. Yeah. And I just told someone the other day that was telling me something like that. I was like, look, you need to come in and work out two days in a row and then you won't miss sleep. That's you'll be right. So tired. Exactly. You will sleep, and then there you go. You'll right bust out of that cycle. Right. Um. <laughs> I will say it's also about kind of goes on to the next one, like positive self talk and things like that. Yeah. Um, but it's also about who you hang out with. Yeah. Like if you have friends yeah. who poo poo that, or they want you to come out and go do happy hour instead of well, going to the gym, or yeah, that's that's an interesting one. And things I don't, like that. I think you were you were doing some work. This was three or four years ago, and I'd never heard this until you, I think you, I'm going to say you uncovered it for me, but was how uh, family members mm. can sort of, let's say you, let's say you're, you know, you're changing your diet, you're changing the way you eat and, yeah. and take in calories, but your family isn't, mm-hmm. and you don't want to eat the food that they make or the food that they pay for, or the food that they've mm-hmm. taken part in. And they will sort of guilt you mm-hmm. like you're, are you not, you're too good for to eat the food we have or yeah. you don't like me. Cause you don't like the, like you, that's something you might have to overcome. Um, particularly in that realm. That's a huge cultural. It's bigger than some, I thought it was. For some families. It's like part of their family is like food is very important to a lot of families. Yeah. So, um, it's one to pay attention to. Yeah. You have to navigate. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's, I mean, I don't have that. Personally, but you know, it can, unless I'm like going out with friends and thinking, I have bad choices I can make. Right, right. But yeah, imagine being, you know, maybe a, a, a young adult and you're living with your parents and you're trying to yeah. ma- imagine Thomas and maybe say you and your wife like ate just fast food every night. Right. And Thomas, like, hey, I'm trying to do this thing. Yeah. And you're like, oh, what do you think? You know, yeah. But he, he doesn't have the resources to do what he needs to do. Yeah. He has so to eat what we have. Right. Mm-hmm. It's kind of tough. So it could be it could be a tough situation for folks. Or if you live in a you know nuclear family, you know, mm-hmm. it can be tough. So yes, it can. Uh that's one. Um yeah. So yeah, also the you were going into that visualization and positive mm-hmm. self-talk. I think it's I think it's important to uh as you're as you're setting goals for yourself. I don't know if you want to create a little mantra or a thing to say or Mm -hmm. you can repeat that thing like this is what i'm doing this is why i'm doing it this is who i'm doing it for Mm -hmm. you know in the seals they talk about it's your it's your why what's Mm -hmm. your why i think it's important yeah um but Mm -hmm. and along with that is the little thing that you tell yourself or whatever and keep it positive Mm -hmm. i can fall into that too i know a lot of people do Mm -hmm. and I, i like argue with people sometimes because they're like well i sucked at that that was terrible (laughs) <laughs> like what well, you did like you actually did it yeah like you did yeah. pretty well you know no, no I didn't yeah it's yeah. like well you're if you were if you treated other people the way you treated yourself yes you probably would get into a lot of fights <laughs> I'm telling you I I think I made a video about this one but you the way you talk about yourself is you know is so important and one of my last big goals I was going through I would actually write on my the mirror I would get ready in like the countdown of the days I had left with a marker. (laughs) 
And so I right. saw it every morning. I'm like, all right, 45 days, 30 days. I, it was actually up to like the 200s at, yeah. at one time. Crazy. And every day, and there would be days I, was, I got so busy working towards that goal, I forgot to mark it down. I'm like, oh, shoot, I get to mark off five days. Because <laughs> you just get, you know, you're into it. And you, yeah, just, yeah. you just forget. You lose track of time, yeah. kind of, which is, a, in my opinion, you're in the zone. You're yeah, kind of, that's definitely in the zone. It's a good, like, good film. Like, oh, crap. Yeah, this is, this is a, yeah. mark it down. Feels good. Feels really good. 